Oh, yeah. Chasing away the winter chill with a midwinter hot buttered rum. Now, what I like about this is that you, you actually make up a batter, um, which can be put into a mason jar like this and given away as presents or <laughs> kept for yourself. You can also make a roll, which I'll show you in the kitchen, uh, and you just cut off a piece, toss it in, throw in a little bit of rum, throw in some hot water, and bingo, whenever you need it, you've got hot buttered rum. Fantastic for winter. So let's go in the kitchen and make some right now. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a batch of hot buttered rum batter. Uh, this is what you'll use after, just cut a piece off, put it in a cup, add some rum, add some hot water. But since we wanna be drinking them all winter, we're gonna make a whole bunch. So what we have here is a half a cup of butter at room temperature, although this room is a little cool right now, so not that warm. Uh, one cup of Demerara brown sugar. Now, if you don't have Demerara, any brown sugar will do. I just like the taste of the Demerara. Uh, we have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and two teaspoons of vanilla. So first thing we're gonna do is cream that butter. I'm just gonna put these things out of the way. And let's get the butter into a medium-sized bowl using a wooden spoon. Just cream it. See, it is a bit cold. It's still going to cream all right. So I just want to cream that butter until it's kind of soft. Soften up a bit and a bit creamy. And then we we'll start creaming in the sugar. Now I find, try to cream it all at once, it's pretty difficult. So just a, a, little, a bit at a time. Just cream that well into the butter. And the minute that uh, it's combined into the butter, add more sugar. I go about a third at a time, seems to work pretty good. Depends how big a batch you're making. If you're going to double up this batch, uh, use a bigger bowl, you might go a quarter at a time. You can see how it's just creaming together in there. See that? All right, the last of the sugar goes in. I'll work that in a bit. And don't even need to cream it fully before we add the other ingredients, which is our, let's get our, our cinnamon and our nutmeg. And let's toss in the vanilla. Oh, nice smell. All right, and now just finish creaming it. We're gonna cream it, and at the same time, we're making sure we combine the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the vanilla, and there goes some overboard. All right, just about smells like making gingerbread cookies or something in here with the uh, brown sugar and the, you know, Demerara brown sugar has a little bit of a molasses-y smell to it. And then of course we got our nutmeg in here and cinnamon. All right, that's starting to look pretty good. I want to make sure it's well combined because you know by creaming this all together it makes a difference when you go to go to make your uh, hot buttered rum the quality of your hot buttered rum all right that looks pretty good now there's two ways you can do this if you want to give it away uh, as Christmas presents Get some nice little jars, like my little mason jars or anything like that, and just fill the jar, pack it in there. Make sure you use a, a bit of a wide mouth jar so it's easy to get out after this, you know, but a uh, person can just spoon some out and put it into their um, mug, make some hot butter rum. What I like to do is make a log. So take a bit of wax paper and just empty this out onto the wax paper. Kind of like uh, frozen cookie dough. 
So we don't need to freeze this, we just need to cool this in the refrigerator. All right, so now, kind of even it out across the wax paper. That looks about good. Form it all together, quasi log, and then, Take the wax paper. It's kind of like making a sushi roll. You just roll it together. Okay, look at that. Already, we have a log there. Push the ends in a bit. All right, so now just gotta roll that up. That's gonna go in the refrigerator. And a little later, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that out of the refrigerator and make a mug of midwinter hot buttered rum. All right, so that's gonna go in the fridge for a while. All right, this has been sitting in the fridge overnight. Uh, the kettle has just come to a boil. We are ready. <laughs> we are ready to make hot buttered rum. So, bring in a big mug. Now. Really, it's up to you how much you want to use. Um, I like to use, well, it's about two tablespoons full, but you might find that you want to use a little less or you might want to use a bit more. Dump that, to, I call it a, a big dollop. Dump that into the mug. Add your hot water. Get that to stir to dissolve it. Mmm. Look at that. <laughs> it's just about good to drink like that without the, the rum in there, you know? Okay. And now the rum, again, it's up to you how much rum you want. I'm using my favorite dark rum, Demerara. I, I've, it is a really a dark rum. It really brings up the flavor. Um, mine, Demerara, mine is the uh, Myers dark rum. There's, I don't know if there's a Demerara rum. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've got in here, I've got three tablespoons of rum, two tablespoons, a quarter cup. It's really up to you how much rum you want in there. So put that in there. Put this aside. Give that another stir. Look at that. Now what I like about when you make it this way, when you've made it with the batter, is that you don't get uh, the butter scum. Like, like when you make it with just throwing in butter and throwing in sugar like I used to make it a long time ago, I would always get a, a butter slick on top. This, look at that, that is a beautiful cup of midwinter hot butter rum. Yeah, for me, that's the perfect ratio. <laughs> so you have to find your own perfect ratio. Enjoy making these all through winter. Oh, also, one of the things instead of just making a log, you can also, here's another batch I made, which is made in a small mason jar. And then, uh, you know, great to give for gifts. And with this, I would just take big dollops out of here, put them in there, and away you go. All right, have a great winter. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe on our website. You also find a real easy to follow along recipe infographic, which visually shows you steps in making the batter and the drink for this midwinter hot buttered rum. So go print out the recipe, have fun making and drinking this, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>